on this week's GTA 5 O'Clock, the first online heist revealed. Valentine's Day Massacre Pack and future DLC details. Plus, the alien egg, has it been found? Find out all this and more on today's GTA 5 O'Clock. Hello and welcome to this week's GTA 5 O'Clock. I am your host, James Jarvis, and I'm joined, as ever, by a well again, Dan Dawkins. Hello, I'm well again. He's well again. Uh, he missed the stream on Friday, which didn't happen, but he's back <laughs> in the seat today uh, for Wednesday. We've got loads coming up on the show this week. In a minute, we're going to talk about, yes, the possibility of seeing the first heist, actual working heist in GTA Online. We've got some news on the Valentine's Day Massacre Pack, which is coming out on Friday. We've got some alien egg footage. Oh, yeah. Or, and um, some more stuff about future DLC and the Dangerous Business Pack. But first, let's get down to business and take a look at this supposed leaked heist gameplay that has surfaced on the internet um, on Tuesday night, Dan. Yeah, well, first of all, a couple of people who tweeted at me, uh, thanks to everyone who'd done that, and same with James, uh, with what is in fact two separate videos of what looks like a legitimate online heist. Now, one of the videos is more like a sort of single player setting, but within the online world, and the other is like a four player take on the same online heist. Now, the heists themselves are kind of as you'd expect. They they both take place in, in well, what this title calls the ornate bank heist. Mm. Um, and it is, in fact, the bank we've shown you several times uh, on the show in the past where it's the one you can enter kind of up in, what, like North Los Santos, like the quite swishy area. Yeah, it's one of the ones that you can just go in. You can find it in uh, GTA Online. You can just wander in it. The door opens. You can have a look around. You can't get into the vault without glitching your way down there uh, but it is all there it is a one of the probably one of the only interiors in GTA Online that is there but nothing happens inside it we should say we're not going to put the footage of this gameplay online because I have a feeling that Rockstar are going to take it down soon um, so we're going to use screenshots but if you want to see these videos in full at the moment the links are still live so you can click on the screen to go and have a look at them yeah no actually in terms of the structure of the online heist I guess that the, the very predictable as in one mission shows you the four of you meet at like the, the jetsam like industrial place mm. you get in a van you drive together with the four of you you arrive at the bank you enter the bank now it looks a bit like the ai is disabled or something isn't right you don't really face much active opposition no compared to the the trailer that we saw in the gt online trailer which had snippets of this bank heist mm. in it mm. that looked a lot more you know, like there was a lot more resistance in it, there was a lot more security around, there were people inside the bank as well. Yeah. This is quite sparsely populated. Incredibly so. And so you, you burst through the doors to no applause or no gunfire, really. And then there's like a giant yellow mission marker as soon as you arrive in. And then essentially you sort of like, well, I say fight, but because there's no fight, you sort of meander your way up the steps to where the vault is. Uh, and then when you get to the vault, you have to perform like a rudimentary hacking mission. Yeah, we've seen this kind of hacking thing before. I think when GTA Online first launched, there was a mission where you had to go and steal some high-value cars from a mansion. It might have even been the Playboy-esque mansion. I can't quite remember. And on that, you used to use, you had to use a hacking thing on your phone by launching the hacking software and doing some like a rudimentary mini game. It didn't quite work when I played it. Uh, there were some issues with it, but it seems in this it's back and you have to hack a terminal um, using some aptly named Rockstar, you know, backdoor hacking software. Yeah. It's the software you've seen elsewhere in the game, so it is, that side of it is legit really, isn't it? Yeah, it's, I think the thing that we have issue with about this, the way that this is working, is it seems to be a modded version of GTA Online hosted on a local server, so it's not actually connected as such to the internet and I think the way that it's been modded is the mission markers might be in a different place some of the AI isn't there a lot of the other environmental effects probably aren't in there so it's not this isn't how the heist will look in the game it's a a rough representation of it maybe but it definitely will be a lot different to this once you first see it when it actually comes out on GTA Online yeah it's it's getting increasingly hard to sort of separate fact from fiction in the GTA community because of the fact that the game's been sort of decompiled and hacked and we saw that like you know 
you know, I can't believe it's true sort of tsunami mod last mm. week. Which again, you know, you can't believe that's running on PS3. What have they done? Have they raised the water level? It looks really weird. It's almost like you've entered this matrix, you know, you're not sure what's real and what isn't. Uh, and this again looks like you know, someone's legitimately accessed like a DNS server to, uh, you know, get onto a portion of the game that is playable online and it happens to be online heist. But the, have they manipulated themselves to make it look more legitimate? Have they created. Because the one sort of telltale thing a few people have picked up on is the footage says like you know, at the bottom it goes uh, protect the enterance yeah. not the entrance the enterance so either Rockstar have forgotten how to spell <laughs> he's just suddenly forgotten yeah or um, it, you know oh it's such an early version it was left like that what we do know is that again from our discussions on previous episodes about the GTA 5 bug log files which you can catch up with um, when it talks about all the different stages the game went through and all the different bug logs and the way the testers went through it now there is reference to like multiplayer heists, as you know, as long ago as over two years mm. ago. So this isn't a new concept. And you know, to be completely frank, Rockstar have not only shown us teaser footage of an online heist; uh, they have repeated again in yesterday's communication about the Valentine's Day stuff that there are going to be online heists. So literally, there are going to be online heists. Yeah. Um, and this is likely the location because they've already literally shown it to us. Now, whether this you know, as it appears in that leaked footage is exactly how it plays out. I doubt. I think it'll be a bit more involved, mm. more complex, a bit more fun. Yeah, yeah, I think so. There's a uh, there's footage of him going into the vault, which you have to hack open in the same way again. Um, you go round into the vault. There's like a guard in one of the videos who just stands there and then gets shot, and then you go and pick up not cash. It's a like an actual gold bar, mm. uh, which you retrieve, and then you have to assume fight your way out back out the bank but again because it's a it's a modded version of the online thing you don't really fight your way back out you yeah. just sort of walk, walk out. out and then you get in like a sort of Scooby Doo style van and drive away and then you've got to like go back to Leicester's warehouse yeah which which would make sense that these were Leicester missions because we know Leicester organises the heists in the single player game or is definitely a big part of that so you would be doing them for him you'd think why Leicester wants loads and loads of money and is doing this you know, just off the cuff. Not really sure, but it it seems to fit into the the universe. It being yeah. Leicester mission. And you'd want you'd want really in in real life when the online heists eventually come for them to be a much closer mimic of the single player game, as mm. in to be more bombastic, to offer you options in terms of like preparation and approach. Yeah. Because as a team, you might go, we're going to do this stealthy, and we're going to get all this kit together, mm. and that would be really fun. It might even be fun if you were competing with another team to get the assets for a certain approach. Yeah. Now that might be more interesting because then you could play it as a series of like, uh, almost like a playlist yeah. of heist missions like against each other. Like who's going to get the van and then who's going to get the weapons first. And if you're competing with a different heist team, maybe like you're left with the, the pistols and they've got all the rocket launchers, but you've yeah. got the supercar. So yeah. they have to get away in like a, <laughs> a truck, a toy truck or something. So I think there's ways to make it much more interesting than this leak currently appears you know is it coming yes yeah i think um it's worth mentioning at the end of it in these modded versions where you don't actually get any money whether that's because it's a modded thing or not uh, i have seen some people saying that you get the money a bit like in single player you get given it like 20 minutes later like i guess as if we were right. if we were doing it as a a main mission you'd say once i you know got rid of this or melted it down then I'll distribute it between the people who did it. So allegedly, it's it's an eighty thousand dollar split, depending on who's in the how many people you do it with. Mm. So you could get eighty grand on your own and not split it with your crew, or you could split it between like four of you. That seems like a reasonable amount of money, considering that you get maybe one or two thousand for doing a normal race or winning a race in, in GT Online. That's quite a considerable chunk. You'd only have to do, you know, five or six of them, and you've got a huge amount of money. So that's the GTA Online heists. Um, moving on, then, Dan, as you mentioned just then, uh, Rockstar did release a thing on the Newswire yesterday about the Valentine's Day massacre special, which is coming this Friday to celebrate all the things that we love which is 60s style hats, cars and yeah, new well, guns. It's actually more 1920s, sort of like um, like the sort of classic days of prohibition, gangsterism, 
Uh, more like a sort of, you know, like the mafia games mm. almost. And you've got like guys and dolls, girls in the uh, de- 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 dresses. You <laughs> Dance know. dancing, you yeah, can't see that. that um, and it does, you know, in Outlines, there's a couple of new things it brings for a limited time period only. One is a new weapon called the Gusenberg Sweeper. And it's basically like a Tommy gun. Mm-hmm. Uh, it looks yeah. really exciting. So you get it from any ammunition in GTA Online. And in story mode, you also get it, and it's automatically deposited into each character's weapon inventory with free two full clips. That's it's nice. just it's just like the Razor model for Gillette. You get two free <laughs> clips, and you have to buy the rest from ammunition. Yeah. Damn you, Rockstar. Then there's the new vehicle called the Albany Roosevelt, which is, again is a classic sort of gangster-style 1920s limousine. That looks pretty cool. Yeah, it looks really nice. It's armoured as well, isn't it? Yeah, it's armoured. And what's great, it says, uh, you can get in the driver's seat and let your friends or crewmates hang off the side, firing and taking out rivals as you pass by. That's nice. That's Because we haven't had any vehicles in GTA Online yet that let you have crew members sort of hanging off the side. Everyone has to be inside. Mm. But, you know, I mean, they're more vulnerable to get shot hanging off the side, but it'd be a nice thing to drive around with, like, four people. Isn't That's an interesting thing, because going back to over a year ago in the show, when we were speculating on some of the pursuit screenshots Rockstar had released there were a lot of like um, police SWAT mm. vans with you know what looked like police hanging off the side yeah which I can't remember as being much of a thing in the final game maybe because I was so good at avoiding the police yeah that... maybe you shot them all before they could hang off yeah. the side no I don't think it, it featured that much I think and you do get SWAT guys in I have seen them in online I think coming in holding on to the side of right. the vehicles but it's not as prominent as possibly we anticipated well if you want the albany roosevelt uh, it's available from uh, any garage this is from any garage property in story mode and it's available in gta online from the legendary motorsport.net mm-hmm. website now you also get new clothes yes new clothes this is dressed to the nines in a host of new double-breasted suits and 1920s flapper dresses this is the bit that I had a double take out. It says, or bear it all in sexy undergarments while going incognito with a selection of new masquerade masks. Nice. So is that like, you know, bras, pants and clown mask on well, a if stick? It, if it's 1920s, it is. you'd think they'd have some new new lady undergarments that are probably all a bit sexy. Sexy. Because there's even a new lady haircut, isn't there? Like the 1920s bob cut. Yeah, there's a flapper bob hairstyle exclusively for the ladies. Nice. Now there's uh, new novelty t-shirts, hats, and more available in stores through Los Santos. And then finally, this is the sort of substantial bit, there's 10 new jobs. It says the Valentine's Day Massacre includes 10 new jobs scattered like the remnants of a broken heart throughout the world of GTA Online, including death matches, a new parachute jump, and a new land, sea, and cycling races. That's good. Um, so for more of this Valentine's Day stuff, we will be featuring it, hopefully, if it's live in time in the GT Online live stream that we're doing on Friday at 4 p.m. So get involved in one of our crews. We've got the GTA B O'Clock crew, the GTA B O'Clock Shadows, and the GTA B O'Clock Gravels. You'll find them on the Rockstar Social Club. Our member limit has been up to a yes. thousand. So it's up to three thousand people across the three crews now can take part. Yeah. Now last week I think there were some issues with accepting all of those new people. Oh, a lot of the <laughs> Rockstar Social Club was bringing back an error message when we tried to accept them. So if you have sent one in the past, I think the best thing to do is resend that request and then we can hopefully accept it and bulk up our numbers, and then we should see you all online on Friday. But there was one extra thing, Dan, in the um, the post on the Rockstar, Rockstar Newswire about future DLC. Yeah, it says, we'll have more information soon for other forthcoming GTA Online content updates, including, and this is the big thing, the Dangerous Business Pack. Mm. So that's the, the unveiling of a new name for a pack. It does also say Dangerous Business Pack, online heists as we just discussed and expansion to the creator tool but i think what we're interested in is the dangerous business pack i guess you know my first thought would be that's a pretty broad setting yeah but then the word business implies it's either some kind of like legitimate businessman tip of the hat where you are on the surface performing normal activities but are in fact engaged in nefarious ones mm. but we think it might be linked to something else that's doing the rounds yeah we've right seen now. a uh, some screenshots of a website which features a lot of mansions. Now these are mansions that you don't see in the game at all. Oh, they're not in the single player game, you don't visit them. Um, but they seem to be tied in to a side mission that you do 
for a real estate agent, which you yeah. made, Dan. Now, what it is, if you go in GTA Online, if you access the internet, you can get on a website, which is like Lenny Avery Realty, or whatever it is, mm. you know, like real estate. And that contains, it's like a website that's under construction. But you can access it also in single player. And in single player, it's a bit more built out. And there's like images of mansions that don't really you don't have any interaction with mm. um, in the in the game now also because as I say all bets are off and the game's being decompiled and hacked and images are being stripped out there, there are like there is videos of people who claim to have like taken apart the file structure and said these are these different visuals and icons that relate to Lenny Avery and in that there's like sort of eight or so big mansions which are like say compared to what we've had previously in GTA Online which is simply largely generic apartments yeah. contained within larger buildings these are proper full blown mansions with exteriors and much more unique looks they're much more player and exciting and cool um, and then yeah Lenny Avery doesn't really appear that much in the single player but you do interact a lot if you play as Trevor with a guy called Josh Bernstein who's Lenny Avery's old like real estate partner who you know bummed him over so what happens is Trevor teams up with Josh to to shoot all of Lenny Avery's real estate signs and like Trevor's reward is well basically getting to sleep with a woman who it turns out is spoiler alert Josh Bernstein's own wife so he's a, he's a bit of a buffoon Josh yeah, Bernstein yeah. and like in in the canon ending like you basically do kill him after he tries to betray you mm. but yeah Lenny Avery he appears briefly you threaten him you say to leave Josh alone um Lenny could be coming back. He could be trying to sell your properties in GTA Online. It, it sounds again very plausible and likely, and I, I, you know, again, you, you'd expect there to be expansions in that because it is a bit disappointing at the moment. Mm. It would all hint towards that they are coming in some form, whether you buy them as a business or run a business from them, or you buy them just to live in once you've, you know, made loads of money, and then you're like, yeah. you know, I'll come up to my mansion. Don't bother with the apartments anymore. We shall see. Uh, one other bit which sort of ties into the uh, dangerous business stuff as well, is a long time ago we discussed a leaked sound, like audio clips that were doing the rounds on online. And these contain phrases from Martin in the game who talks about getting money into property and things like that mm. and and using that kind of stuff to, to make yourself money that way. So that could be tied into a sort of dangerous business uh, have you got some quotes there? Yeah, one is uh, Martin says, My friend, you should really get some money heating in property. Heating in property? Is that madness? Or is that a typo? I guess he means like heating up. Like, I don't know. Anyway, Martin also <laughs> says, Take a look around and buy something. Then he says, We will earn plenty of money, my friend. We have to get going in this life. Invest your money. Yeah. Uh, he also says, How do you share in a property to buy merchandise from? And then other things say, like, Martin, my friend, perhaps it is time for you to invest in some serious business opportunities. Which, again, the word business, dangerous business, there seems to be an overlap. Yeah. Martin also says, there are properties all over Los Santos that return income. Then Martin says, we'll need a retail operation. So there's all these sort of things that feel property investment linked. Yeah. Uh, with all of this now, I feel like you know, there's just jigsaw pieces coming together. You've got the website that exists online and offline. You've got the guy who's hacked the files apart. You've got this old audio leak. You've got the fact it's called dangerous business. You know, it's maybe two and two equal five, but it just feels like it's all slotting into, pay, into mm. place. Now, also in that leaked audio, it's worth mentioning that there were references to, as you know, as discussed previously, pink slips for betting and for races. Yeah. Uh, a casino finally opening up. Loads of quotes relating to that. Talks of arms deals, drug hustling, and there's a lot of talk of that of like running drugs back and forth yeah. in missions like that. And this is one about sending special attackers to players via Leicester, players spying, the new camera phone upgrade, which could even be what we've got already. Yeah, it could be the, the new filters we've got, or or possibly new modes like recording stuff and things like that. Um, we shall see. If this dangerous business pack comes out and there is stuff from Martin in there, and some of these quotes are in their word-for-word word or slightly tweaked versions of them, it, it almost guarantees that the rest of that audio file is also... Yes. legitimate yeah. so you can expect that all of those pink slips and the casino and all of that stuff will happen 
probably not in the same pack possibly i mean it could happen in the same pack that'd be quite a massive update um but we shall see once that dlc launches it'll give us a much clearer idea of of what's to come and the future plans for gta online yeah i think what set everyone back is the fact that essentially rockstar probably didn't anticipate the scale of the hacking money problems rp boosting all the stuff that's happened they've got a full-time job probably just trying to neutralize what they've got mm. and, and all the time that's happening it's probably taking resource away from building the stuff they always intended to make hey what's happening with gta 5 on pc all those other things what about this significant single player dlc we know is coming you know all that stuff's got to get worked on while other people just keep the plates spinning on gta online yeah all right, so that's um, the Valentine's Day special and DLC packs. Moving on to our final thing of the week this week, and it's alien yeah. and it's egg-shaped. Yeah. The alien egg, potentially, well, here's, here's an image of it on screen. This is possibly what it looks like. Again, um, we've talked a lot about the hacking and, and putting apart the game files. This has come from that. Someone has managed to pull out a texture model from the game files make it into a 3D shape and then put that 3D shape, mod that into the game and take a screenshot of it, which is what you can see here. Whether or not this is an actual piece of, like a prop from the game or it's something that was going to be in a mission which has now been cut, or it's a thing that is already in the game but is like disguised in a different thing. I think I've seen images of this egg shaped like thing being in the UFO that Michael gets abducted into when the aliens are like operating on mm. him when you look up there's like an egg shaped ball which is sort of green and glowing um, so it could be used as part of the prop for that scene um, people are still looking for it the fact I think is that it being in the game well the, the texture model being in the game possibly means that it is in the game, but equally it could be a, a cut thing. I, I like, wonder if it's similar to the... You remember the alien HUD that got leaked? Yeah. People were saying was like the UFO user interface. Mm. But, you know, all I understand is that maybe that was from something else. <laughs> and, um, you know, the egg might be part of that sort of thing, deleted scene or something like that. Yeah. So we don't know. I mean, it could even be that someone is clever enough. You know, if you can raise the water levels... I feel like maybe someone's someone in a thread did say what they've done is remove the Jimmy character model and replaced it with an egg. I don't know if that was a joke or if they actually have replaced the Jimmy model and texture with like a giant glowing alien egg. Right. Um, just to say like he always appears in these scenes as an egg now because we've built this asset. Yeah. I don't know how, what level of dexterity you know the different hackers and coders have got, but uh, you know if you're involved with this stuff and you want to you know shed some light on it, please let us know in the comments or get in touch on that GTA V o'clock. Yeah, we'd love to have you on even to just talk about what your, your findings are and, and things like that. Um, I think the thing to take away from it is the hunt continues. No one's found anything actually in the game yet without properly ripping it apart. Uh, we're scouring it every week for new things. We're always checking out new stuff. So if you do have any hints towards things that we might have to go and look at that we can feature on the show, let us know in the comments or get in touch with us. So that is um, this week's GTA 5 o'clock news. Uh, if you do like the show, hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe. Uh, Dan, are you going to join us on Friday? Uh, barring another attack of illness, yes. Okay. Yes. So come and join us. Uh, get involved in our social club cruise on the Rockstar Social Club site. And uh, we'll be back on Friday at 4pm GMT for the live stream. Right um, here on our channel. Right here on the channel, yep, yeah, you can view it on YouTube, hopefully, fingers crossed, the uh, the tech guys are sorting out the issues we had last week, and hopefully everything will be back running smoothly in time for Dan's return at 4pm this Friday. If you can't make that, then join us again next week uh, for the Wednesday show, we'll have more in-depth analysis from the world of GTA 5. <laughs>